So today we are going to look at the latest software update. Um, now there was a beta update and this they've rolled out now the official update for everyone. Um, so as you can see, I go to menu, settings, uh, and then general. And this is part of the update is that they've changed this, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, now you can tap anywhere. Uh, you used to have to tap on the arrow, so that's pretty cool. Um, and um, under the release notes, this is the new release. So I like to read it through um, and just go through all the things. Release 3.9, thanks to improved palm rejection. So when you're resting on and, and if you're writing um, and if you're doing so, because there's this, this update is a lot about left-handedness, right? So when you're now a lot of left-handeds write that way and some right this way. So I think most right this way. And the, that cross button, or you can see how I've tapped it, but that cross button was getting in the way. So they've, so the, here's the deal. Thanks to improved palm rejection in left-handed mode, you can now lean in when you take notes or sketch, just like on a sheet of paper without the smudges. Enjoy an elegant new font, that's this one, for your typed notebook titles. And we've also updated our settings and that is that one so let's have a quick look at each one lefties relief relief here rest your left hand on the close button when taking notes so like that without the fear of suddenly finding yourself back in my files improved palm rejection lets you work uninterrupted even when the toolbar is open on the right side of the display so what we're going to do is we are going to change that now under accessibility you can make your device left or right so we're going to make it left okay we're going to go back out or oh, we were out sorry and we're going to pick a document now okay, so here's a document we'll, we'll go in here um of course five ways to be productive today it's always good information isn't it um now so the deal is when we're writing Let's go to a new page. When we're writing and our hand is up here like this, so let me move the Remarkable down just for the sake of showing you the cross is there and left hand is often right like this. So they've improved the palm rejection, okay? So I'm going to put my hand on the cross and you can see it hasn't shoved me out. And I'm going to write as if... <laughs> I used to write all the time when I was younger with my right and left as if I'm but again I want to put my hand up here left handed whoops focus Martin let me get to the menu all right so I put my I put my um, hand here several times now of course the cross isn't out at the moment but even putting it there see that and it hasn't turned it so that's that's what they mean all right, let's close that document and go back to our settings. I am going to change it back to right-handed mode so that we can make this a wee bit quicker for you guys. Um, okay, so that's uh, go, going back into the release notes. Lefty's relief, that's what um, they've done here. So let's, I think we worked out we can just do one, one finger can do the scrolling. Okay, sophisticated type. Our new remarkable serif font adds a dash of style and makes your typed notebook titles stand out. See that? Make headlines with letters designed to give your ideas room to breathe. Revisit your older documents with typed titles and you'll notice that they've had a glow up. Okay, so let's go and have a look. Now, when we do that, it doesn't work in here, but when we go back and then we do that, it gets us back to home base so typed text um i had some but i think i deleted it okay let's go into this one typed text so you can see this is typed text so you can tap on the t and you've got here now this this is the style bar for all typing oh let me pop my remarkable back up so you can see all of it that is the style bar so if i tap on that you see that now there is the serif font. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
I love it. And look, you could turn every line into a title line, but it's going to be that size font. There is no way to adjust sizing of fonts. So if we close that and we put a font, now it's in, um, what are we calling it? It's in super thin, which isn't helpful on a video. We, um, fonts, I'm just writing this, cannot be, I've had several uh, questions, so I'm just writing it, cannot be resized. Um, the way to do it is by selecting the style you want, the style. So in here, if we go back to typed text in here, you can only change the size of the font by selecting a different style. And you've got three. You've got the title font, which is now a serif font. You've got the um, subheading. That, that could be called the heading or the title font. This We'll call this the subtitle, subheading. And that is a sans serif font. And then you've, which sans means no. Um, and then that's the body font, and that's also a sans serif font. And if we get out of there, sans serif. The serif is the little dashes. So if you did a T, it would have a little dash on it. And a sans serif font is a T without a dash. So that's the deal. Let's hop out of here. Let's go back to our... Um, release notes. So we've done that one. You, We now know that we can um, tizzy up our typing and now in control. We've cleaned up the settings structure and put language and keyboard preferences in one place. So we saw that. We'll have a look in just a tick. Change the language for the on-screen keyboard, handwriting conversion and type folio in general settings. So you do it all in one place now. So this is, this is it here. This is how they've tied up now. When you see mine, it won't have this option here because I haven't got the type folio connected. I don't have a type folio, but because um, I don't type much, I use mine for the creative side of my brain, which happens when I write uh, with my pen. So that's how I, I like to use mine, but everybody's different. Um, uh, next to the overview of your personal account information. So that's that. Sub Subtle updates to the design should make it easier to see what you've toggled on and off. So let's have a look at that one. Go back here and it's right here. Whoops, that was just a bit too quick. So in here, you can see, if we go into language and keyboard, you can see this is what they've done. They've tidied this up. You used to find it in two different places and you'd have to flick. Now you could do that. If your type folio was connected, it would be here and you could select the language for all three of them at the same time. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing that they mention here is other improvements. So let's get down there. After introducing new note-taking and productivity features, including the selection tool and the checkboxes. So that was in the last update, if you remember, or if you were around for that. Uh, we're making our desktop app available from the App Store. So I don't actually remember, but may, it mustn't have been available in the App Store, but I don't remember that. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got mine from. Anyway, must have been either the Remarkable website or a link in an email perhaps from them. I'm not sure. Make sure to download it to your Mac to ensure that your Remarkable app keeps, oh, let me just check that, yeah, keeps getting all the latest updates. We'll make it available in the Microsoft Store soon. So it's available in the App Store for Macs. And what will be coming out is the Microsoft Store for PCs, Windows, Androids, all of that deal. So that's... um. That is the software update, uh, let's go 3.9.3, and I think these last digits are just versions of the major update, so that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching, any love on the channel is greatly appreciated. Just want to say, 
I've just found a massive amount of comments in, held in moderation, which I didn't know. So I'm so sorry if you've left me comments and I haven't responded. It's not, I haven't seen them. So yesterday I spent a couple of hours <laughs> replying to comments. Unfortunately, they only hold them for two months. So uh, it, it was, I was actually really cross that this happened and I didn't know anything about it um, because I do like to have a chat and to answer any questions you've got. So please leave comments, ask questions. They're all welcome here. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.